And welcome once again to Community Viewpoint. I'm John Pollock, your host for this segment. And uh, with me today is uh, Bill Perna from Valley Electric Association. And your title is, we'll be showing you it on the bottom of the, what is it? Member Services Manager. Yes. And that you're the first one they talk to <laughs> when there's a complaint? Well, they talk to my people, any of the customer service reps or the member service reps, opening service, paying bills, uh, any type of general business, new construction. Here, let me give you a bill to talk to. <laughs> oh, okay, yes, yeah. yes. Press one, two, three, four to right, talk to the bill. bill. Yeah, and then it, the buck goes up to Bill. Anyway. Where are we going to start? We're going to be starting at the bucket truck today. The bucket truck is, what is the bucket truck? So this is our 17th uh, year of doing fill the bucket. And this is a school supply drive for all of the schools within our service territory. So we've been doing this for 17 years. Um, we kind of have a little... We, ha we, we, we try and do a little bit more every year, so we count the number of buckets that we fill every year. Um, we actually use a lineman bucket and we bring it out to uh, the locations. We'll be there on Saturday, July 22nd from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And we also have a location in our lobby, so if you come into our lobby to do business, you can drop off supplies there. But basically, we're collecting school supplies for the upcoming school year. Okay, and you can collect those up till the 21st, I believe it is? Uh, we'll collect them in the lobby up to the 21st. We'll uh, be collecting them in front of Albertsons, uh, Smith's, and Walmart on Saturday, July 22nd from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Uh, and then and then what we do is we take those back to the Valley Conference Center. We box those all up. We will accept cash donations or specific huh. items. And you can pick up a list of specific items uh, in front of Walmart or uh, Smith's or uh, Albertsons if you need a shopping list. And primarily it's, you know, standard school supplies, number two pencils, 24 count Crayola crayons, Band-Aids, backpacks, colored pencils, composition notebooks, dry erase markers. There's a whole list. Glue. Uh, glue. and the, uh, the safe stuff. Yeah, glue, the safe yeah. stuff. Scissors, plastic pencil cases. So, again, we'll, we have the list on our website, and we'll also have a shopping list out in front, and you can also just make a cash donation. The, the Mr. Rogers uh, scissors. Yes, no running with the scissors. <laughs> So you have, uh, we have each year, because it's, it's the membership too, it's not only the people that work there, uh, it's the people that uh, are the rate payers too that come out, right? Correct. They come out and make donations, um, we'll hand them a shopping list. Uh, at one of the things that we do is if we, if, if people make cash donations, we go do shopping, go do the shopping for them based oh, on what we've that. collected, yeah. right? <clears throat> um, we also get uh, donations from businesses and we'll have little challenges throughout the day of you know certain businesses that uh, send in donations and challenge other people too. Oh, that always breaks up the, the monotony, yeah. And we used to find out what the other store was bringing in too. I remember those days. Yeah, so I think our prior our prior record was <coughs> 35 buckets filled and the buckets are are pretty large but uh, so last year we collected we only collected 10 buckets worth of actual supplies but we received fifteen thousand dollars in cash donations from employees uh, and participating partners um, which actually ended up giving us a value of another 30 buckets. So our record right now is at 40 <laughs> buckets. So we're trying to, we're gonna try and beat that 40 bucket record this year. Uh, and you can also call in uh, to the office and make a donation if you tell somebody over the phone that you wanna make a $5 or a $6 donation over the phone, you can charge it on your credit card. You can just call into the 
uh, 775-727-5312 and go to the billing department for electric and you can make a donation. Or you can do it at the counter as well if you would like to. Excellent. So that's Albertsons, Smiths, and Walmart. Correct. <clears throat> Trump locations. Uh, one of the things that we do as far as, you know, when we're getting crayons and so forth, we keep coolers out there with ice in it so the, so the perishables don't, don't uh, melt away in the, in the boxes. And then basically we have everybody within the company working kind of, you know, it's, it's a pretty well-oiled machine after 17 years of picking up supplies, dropping off supplies. We have facilities coming around with trucks, picking them up and, and moving them to where we can package them up. And It's a labor of love, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's Nobody's forced to do that. I did it for a few years uh, when I was younger. I was able to stand out there. And that helps, too, when you have the different people that know other people that are coming in uh, yes. Smiths and whatever, you know, they, they come here. Yeah, here, the, yes, yes. A few bucks over here. But we have from customer service to line <laughs> crew to marketing, operations, broadband, everybody participates within it from all the different departments. And it's kind of a little fun get together for us as well as being able to provide uh, those school supplies to the people that need them, especially within our our service districts because we service from we service Sandy Valley, uh, Trout Canyon, Pahrump, Beatty, oh. Amargosa, Fish Lake Valley. So oh, here, yeah. So you have a a bucket that's up there too, up in uh, Dyer. Uh, we I know are you have collecting. A yeah, we we have a kiosk there that you yeah. can make payments at. But we're <coughs> collect, We collect all the school supplies. Uh, within Pahrump or uh, throughout our service territory during the, during the collection period. Then we package those all up and then we disperse them to the schools within the membership based on the, you know, based on the number of members that we have in each district. And usually it gets out to the schools, what, in the next month or so? Uh, it gets out there actually pretty quickly. We get, we, you know, July 22nd, July 23rd, 24th, all of it's wrapped up, um, you know, either purchased and wrapped up and then donated to the schools. And we're contacting people for, uh, to get them distributed out there. So you may have seen the, the flyer uh, in the, the, this month's Rural Light magazine from the Valley Electric that's on page eight. It's over there, so. You and can there's read. pictures of you know participants within the. Yes. So. That is in, in a nutshell, of what's happening, and this is your what are we? Was it seventeenth? Seventeenth year. Yes. Seventeenth year running. Um, some of the things that we, you know, we kind of like. You know, the, the new, you know, hand sanitizers, reusable water bottles, stuff like that. The, that some of the things that, uh, you know, because a lot of people will pick up the notebooks and the pencils and so forth. But when we're, when people are coming in, we might gear them towards um, certain items. Um, and it doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter if you drop off a dollar or 50 cents or whatever. It's all going to go. Yeah, it all counts. Right. Oh my goodness, yes. Not to change the subject, but I think 17 is the number that uh, this is the 17th time that Joey Chestnut has won the. Uh, yes, it is. Yes. And how? Just what, a coincidence. Yeah. How many hot dogs was that, John? It's only 62. Only 62. Only 62 in 10, in 10 minutes. minutes. In 10 minutes. <laughs> but anyway, those are the type of uh, uh, things that I like to watch, and my wife says, you know, just shakes her head. You know, these are athletes to you. <laughs> yes. Look but, at look at him go. Yes. She says he's not going to be living much longer <laughs> eating like that, trying to tell me that that's not healthy. Well, it's not. He doesn't eat that way all the time. I'm sure he doesn't. So, so once again, this is Saturday, July 22nd, from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. I'm sure if you see us there uh, a little bit before, a little bit after. Uh, don't be hesitant to throw in some money or bring in uh, the, the gifts during those times. So once again, it's Albertsons, 
Smith's and uh, both uh, Walmart. Uh, Wal Walmart Super Center. Both uh, entrances there, or just uh, one? Well, they'll they'll be able to identify us. We'll be the big crowd yeah, yeah. of people standing yeah. there with the tent and uh, the misters and uh, uh, the big buckets of uh, and boxes of school supplies. Yes, we're pretty hard to miss once we're out front there gathering in a crowd. Definitely. So it is uh, a very well worthwhile cause. And like you said, it was the 17th annual one. And you're going all for 40 buckets? We gotta get 41 buckets this 41. year. Last year was 40 buckets. We're gonna go for 41 buckets. Uh, I think, uh, you know, once we count up our monetary donations and so forth, we add it all together. Uh, you know, we thought we, you know, prior to COVID and then coming back, you know, understandably, um, donations were were donations were a little bit lower than what we expected right after COVID. But last year really picked up, and we got right back in the swing of things. And with, you know, children being in school versus being at home, these supplies are super necessary and are a must-have for uh, a lot of the a lot of uh, our members in the districts. So that you know, this is very important to our rural area here. This is not one of the richer areas uh, in the United States. So all this helps uh, one child, 10 ch uh, children, or a whole uh, neighborhood, a whole school district, our school district. So this is something that's very worthwhile that Valley Electric, our co-op, has stepped forward to initiate 17 years ago so we we thank you for that and having being a part of that letting us be a part of that because we we need this for our children to um, bring them up uh, to have a better life than we we've had so I want to thank you very much for taking this time out to thank be for with you. us. Thank you for letting me get out and you know spread the word again Albertsons, Smiths, Walmart will be out there July 22nd from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. All right. Thank you once again. Thank you.